Hello everybody, welcome back to My Slice of Heaven Outdoors. I'm Joey. Today we're going to talk about trail cameras. I'm going to give you a little tip. Uh, has your camera ever quit working or maybe it just started acting funny? If so, I might have a tip that will help you fix that problem with using just a simple household ingredient that you might have in your household already. So stay tuned, stick around, come along, and I'll show you how you could possibly fix your trail camera. I'm glad you guys are still here. So this is a camera that I've had in the on a property for quite some time and it started acting funny on me. Sometimes it would take like two or three pictures and not take any more. Sometimes it would not take any pictures at all. So I actually had two of these cameras do that to me and I actually threw one away but then I started looking at this one a little bit closer to see if it was something I could fix. And I found a problem and I fixed it pretty easily. So let me show you how I did it. First thing you want to do is take out your battery pack. Now I've already taken this one out and took out the batteries. But you're going to want to zoom in here pretty close. On all your metal connections here, I had like a bluish whitish powder build up and it was in there pretty bad. And what I did to fix this problem was just two household items, not including the plate. The plate was just to stick the camera on so I wouldn't make a mess. Was use some white distilled vinegar and some Q-tips. And what I did was, this, this is simple and I fixed it. Uh -huh. I got it working again. Take a little bit of your vinegar, pour it in your cap you're not going to use a whole lot. Whatever we don't use, we'll dump in a sink or pour it back in a jar. Take a Q-tip, soak it in that vinegar, and just start wiping off all your metal pieces. If you got a blue powder build up or white powder build up, just start wiping all the metal pieces off till you get that uh, build up off of there. Make sure you get inside the spring really well. If you have to, I mean, if it's in the spring really good, just put that Q-tip really good and just let that vinegar run down in there. Now I've already cleaned this one up, so there's really nothing on it anymore. Then, when you get all that done, I just took the other side and dried it off the best I could. I brought a couple extra ones so I could dry it. And just make sure you get all that corrosion stuff off of there really well. And that vinegar took it off really easy. Now the vinegar will evaporate and dry on its own if you let it sit there long enough. But I put a pretty good amount on here. So I'm going to make sure I get a lot of it wiped off. Dry Q-tips take it off pretty well. And once you get that done, just leave that sit out and let it air dry for a couple hours. And then we'll put it back together. Now if you can, I know you can't see down in there, but there's also connections down inside this thing. So you'll need to get a longer stick. And actually the inside of mine wasn't bad. I didn't even clean mine, but if you had to, you could probably take a Maybe a shish kebab stick and tape one of these to the end and push down there and dab everything with it and dry it off. But my inside was pretty clean, so I did not have to do that. And I'll be back as soon as this gets done air drying. All right, guys, now that we got those cleaned up and dried out, we'll stick some batteries in it. And we're using the... Uh, Energizer Ultimate Lithium Batteries. Of 
put them back in the camera and we'll turn it on and see if it works as you can see the numbers lit up there so it's definitely working it's even got the right time still and now all you gotta do is go back and sit, reset it set all your uh settings the way you like it and that was a pretty easy fix this camera was not working when i took it down almost threw it away and uh i said well let me take a look at this see if i can fix it and it's fixed i've actually ran some did a little bit of testing with it and ran it inside the house and it snapped pictures for a good couple hours of video so it's working pretty good i just need to get it back out in the woods now Guys, that's like I said, it's a pretty simple fix just using uh, items you have in your house. So I hope if you ever have a camera malfunction on you, I hope yours is as easy as fixed as this. And I hope this tip might help you out. Till next time, guys, you all have a great day.